Well, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first look, not to the Platinum Edition. There is way too much things in the Platinum Edition to be able to review, like, the way I do it. To review the Platinum, ex uh, to, to the Platinum Edition. So, we are going to concentrate in, the, in a topic that I do like a lot, which are the semis. In this case, the Platinum Expansion or the Platinum Edition comes with three new semis. We knew about the Volvo F16 already. We got a glimpse, a leak or a sneak peek on what we thought it was the Volvo VNL. Well, no, it's a Volvo VNX300 and we had an amazing surprise. We have the newest Globetrotter F H16 looking absolutely absolutely beautiful and with tons of customizations to actually apply to the trucks not the usual way of thinking or way of developing the semis are giant uh -uh. that changed and that changed for good because right now you can actually set those up the way you like it with some limits of course we will see those but this is going to be game-changing in the way the giants present us the trucks. Now, let's start with the small one and let's see what the store waits and has for us. We are going to start with the Volvo F16 Globetrotter and this is a classic. We did a small video when the fact sheet of that truck was released giving a little bit of a background, a bit of a story on what's coming with the truck. But the thing that gives us like, like hope if you want to put it this way is the fact that we have tons of options. We usually don't have those many options to set up in a truck, in like a base game truck. Well, this is not base game, yes, but it's a plus. It's it's giants saying, if you don't have it, go get it, because it's worth it. Point one, we are going to try to put into the table enough um, reasons to those who don't have it to go get it. This is the first one. We start with the semis. We have three new semis by Volvo and they are looking absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Let's start with how many options do we have in this, this old and, and small truck. We have, first we start the engine, wheel setup, sun shield, design, additional lights, beacon, mud flaps, capacity, main color, chassis color, design color, rim color, and now, and of course, the license plate. Now, look at these options. All these options, we are not used to a mod by giants to have all these options. That's amazing. And something that is also changing. The engine setup is right now at the very top. Usually the engine setup is uh, is sitting on the list at the very bottom just before the colors. But right now it's appearing on top nearly for all the new vehicles. So I guess that uh, change on the, in the engine and how the engine reads the setup. Well, I guess because we don't we don't have the access to to check on that. But it changes. It changes on all the trucks. You're gonna see that it appears if not the first one the second option. It's kind of well it's just a curiosity. We have the engine F16 470, 485 and 500 with, of course, 500 horsepower. When we move to wheel, we have standard and we have white tires. We don't have wheel brands, so we are uh, we're going to be we're going to be with Continental with all the tires and that's it with white or standard. I'd like to see some more variation on the tires, but well, it is what it is. Continental into options. We have the sun the sun shield old visor. Um, beautifully big, of course. It is transparent. It has this uh, transparent plastic, like an old-fashioned visor. It looks absolutely gorgeous. But in case you don't like it, you just remove it, and you are in a break. No, don't do that. It looks horrible without it. You see, it looks like there's something missing. Please don't use the sun chill. Now, on design, we have design yes and design no, and these are basically the stripes. The stripes are making the windows, sometimes it flashes. You see that if you change fast, there are some flashing in the store. I guess that's normal, so don't, don't, be, uh, don't be worried about it. We have also additional lights, and additional lights refer to the cab lights. That could be cab lights, because we are not adding additional lights, like working light or things like that. We are actually adding three lights or no lights. Okay, we have side ones, central ones, and side ones, and no lights. Please use the lights, it looks way better with the lights. Then we move into the beacon. And beacon, we have two classic beacons. We don't have the option to, to do left and right, right or left, or, or no. We have yes or no with both options and with both beacons, sorry. And we have a classic rotator beacons. No LEDs, it's an old truck. So old, uh, old fashioned beacons and kind of big, 
big hits actually. Moving to the next one, we have the mudflaps, and the mudflaps are going to be yes or no. Again, an option that we are used to have fix it in, in any mod, and right now Giant is giving us the option of removing or adding the mudflaps, which is actually a very very nice to have. Last but not least, we jump into the capacity, and the capacity is, is going to go starting at 500 liters and up to 750 liters. That's it. Nothing else changes, just the visuals of the uh, the visuals of the tank, and also um, and also the like the capacity that the tank can actually hold. Now, one interesting thing that should get you all excited is the fact that Giants is starting to play with more colors. We modders aren't used to do that, but Giants are not coming into this kind of play now they are so we have main color and all the standard colors they are don't they still don't play with with uh, custom color palette but it's I mean it's it's nice enough so we can go with this JCB yellow that looks absolutely gorgeous and you can actually see I mean if you were like me thinking that the white frame looks kind of weird it is so you just go and put it black and that looks more uh, more frameish more natural to me, to me, I mean, you want to white, which is be my guess. But yeah, don't, uh, don't hesitate to put the color you want. You want it pink, just go for it. Now, design color is going to change the color that we have on the grill. So we put it pink and you're going to see it right there. So we can put the, the grill in any color. Now, something that I think that it should be there and it's not there, it's the fact that we are not able to choose metals. Everything is painted. Everything is a painted metal. Even a some sort of plastic metal but we cannot choose chrome for example it'll be a nice to have to actually be able to choose here chrome I'm gonna go all yellow so it looks uh, it looks more uniform you see the transparency on the on the sun visor it's absolutely gorgeous and well here we are uh, we just leased one of these uh, one of these new Volvo Globetrotter F16 if I pronounce well if I don't pronounce the name properly just uh, you know me English so um, and here we are next to it in the store it looks even better than in the virtual uh, than in the virtual store it looks absolutely gorgeous everything is where it's supposed to be everything is absolutely absolutely high quality and absolutely highly detailed you can even see there in the bolt in the frame the like the thread or the pattern in there that is I mean that's high level that's high level of detail the lights like the classic classic looking lights are right there outstanding outstanding details all the all the tiny bitty things next to the truck these uh, like the the pattern on that on that small tube right there rims are the ones in the game we have the frame with uh, front leaf suspension I mean this is this is gorgeous this is amazing but there is more in the game there is more in the game and we play the game because we like the equipment that we drive but key element on that sentence drive how does it drive how does it sound let's jump into it and see about it so once we are in the truck uh, you see driver position it, it just it just perfect I, know, I did it I tried to put the hands like that it never works on mine but uh, but yeah, and everything else, everything else is looking fine. Let's fire it up and listen, listen to the engine and see if there is something new that await us on the engine tabs. And it's actually comforting that there is, that there is. The sound of this truck is new, and I guess it represents the like the old Globe Trotter um, engine sound, and it looks. I mean, it sounds perfect. Animation's perfect. So um, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. The horn. People ask for the horn. Horrible. Uh, but it is what it is. Don't use the horn. Now, if we check on lights, we have a we have a special situation with the lights, because we go state one. Okay, front. We go state two. We have the rear working light, right there. Nothing else uh, eliminates. We go backwards. We break. In this in this capture, you can see that there is a light that done, that it's not working no matter what you do. So we have turning signals and on, but there is this light in the center of the screen that it's not working. Now, if we turn on the lights and we go to the front of the cabin, we go to this view, we go state one, 
We go with state two, state three, and they are off. So, what is going on with the lights that we see? Uh, that we see right here, right here on the bumper. These uh, fog lights are not working. These lights are not being connected, and no matter the key we press, especially on the controller, I'm testing it with an Xbox controller. It's not. Uh, it's not happening. Nothing is. Nothing is actually happening. So I guess that is. Uh, I'll know what it is, and uh, I can't see the code, but I. I know what it is, and it just requires a small, small uh, change. You need to add a three, actually, somewhere. Uh, but yeah, adding uh, adding that three on that place will probably make those lights to work, and it's an easy fix. Probably it's gonna be it's gonna be fixed uh, by the time of release. If not, a patch will fix it. Not not too worried about it. Now uh, we need to jump into the interior, and we need to see the interior. I'm gonna turn it off. And here we are in the interior of the F-16. Uh, as you can expect, everything looks everything looks perfect. Everything looks uh, just right on spot. Where it was in real life, or what it is in real life, if somebody still owned one of these, uh, one of the old, uh, one of these old trucks. Now we fire it up, and we can see all the gauges moving. Let's do it again with a little bit of zoom. Now with a little bit of zoom, we can see that uh, we can see all the details on the gauges. We can see that there is even an analog, uh, an analog watch. It just moved in the center of the speedometer. So you can actually see that the time passes and the time is reflected in ah, there you go. The time is reflected in the uh, in an analog clock in the uh, inside of the inside of the dash. Let's fire it up. All the check lights. We have the RPMs, all the checks are gone. We turn on one of the lights, second one. We have this classic. You see the indeed like the center of uh, the center of the dash. Of each light, you see that kind of classic like glow from like it's, an, it's a yellowish glow. Let's go to the night. So here we are at night, and I'm just gonna stay a little uh, second quiet because it's raining, and you can actually hear it. It's very it's very nice. Those are details that we're already in the game, but it's actually very nice to to pay attention to that small detail. That you see, you hear the rain hitting uh, hitting on the truck. Beautiful. Now we turn on the lights, and that's what I was saying. You see that old glow in the in the dashboard, and that's just beautiful. And uh, we, if we fire up the engine, we can actually see that there is more lights coming up when the engine is on. Now I I'm positive on that uh, headlight thing. Uh, working at some time. I think someone forgot it. So, as usual, gears. Let me bring on. Let me bring. So back in the day, we had you see the gearbox, the gear shifter, moving and switching. Everything, everything perfectly animated. Everything perfectly and nicely looking into this truck. It's beautiful. So word of the work of art. I really like the work the Giants did on this on this series. Now, if you like the MAN, you're gonna absolutely love this uh, this globe throttle. Now, one thing, the cabin moves a little bit uh, too fast. You see, if you do this, the cabin looks like a well, now it's yellow. It's look like it looks like a minion. It's just like you who. Uh, to, to, I think it I think it reacts uh, too fast. Like if the weight. Uh, if the weight assigned to the cabin was too much, and you can see that it moves a little bit, uh, a little bit too fast. Anyways, we're gonna jump into the next one. We're gonna leave that one parked somewhere, and we're gonna jump into the next one because we have two, and we've been here for a long time. But this is, I mean, these things are, these things are beautiful. They deserve, they deserve time to be dedicated to them, especially if you like all trucks and if you like semis. So let's jump into the next one. Next one in the lead is the Volvo FH16, also mandatory and included only in the Platinum Edition. And that was a fresh surprise. When I first saw this truck driving on Silver Run map, I thought like, wow, that is a modern, that is a modern, uh, a modern European truck. And it looks, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Again, Giants repeat on the amount of options that they are actually setting. We have 
Roof setup, engine setup, wheel setup, aero parts, front mounting, safety frame, mud flaps, mirrors, main color, real color, design color, ring color, and of course the license plate. Now this is outstanding. Cause we and the roof is not on fire. The roof is just fine. It, we start with the XL roof or we can just go with the sleeper. And the sleeper you can see that it has a bump inside. We have only one bed there. And if we go to the XL, we have uh, more room and the interior, of course, the interior changes. And we have an additional bed inside. Now, it's still to see if it is compatibility with the Kubota DLC and what happens if they are both together. We will see what happens. But so far, I'm just concentrating on the Platinum Edition. Next one is the engine setup. Again, on top of the list, which it was not common. Uh, it was not common before this update. But right now we are, we're going to have it just on top. It, I believe it's important because it actually gives the name to the truck. So right now if we, if we buy it as FH16550, when we switch to that truck, that's the name that it's going to have. So it's kinda, it kind of makes sense that it's on top of the list because it's one of the important parameters. In terms of options, we have FX16, 650, and 750. There is not only the engine that changes, but also the badges on the side, and the uh, if we choose the XL sleeper, the decal on top of the sleeper changes from just Globe Trotter to FH16, uh, FH16 750. That's also that's also changing. You can see it right there. We have now something that is absolutely amazing. Wheel setup, and in wheel, set, wheel setup we don't have brands. Again, we're gonna be stick with Continental tires for the Volvo for the Volvo semis, but in wheel setup, that honors the meaning of setup. It's not a brand, it's a setup. So in here we have 4x2, 6x4, 8x4 with a tag, and 8x4 with a push configuration. This is massive. I know, European truck, yes, yeah, right. Uh this is this is gorgeous. This is absolutely beautiful. And it's a very, very long chassis, actually. We're going to see it with the VNX 300, that it can also be quite long. But uh, in this case, it's outstanding that we have the option, that we have the option to actually go 8x4. Going down the list, we have the aero parts. And the aero parts, it starts with design number 3. That means that Giant is actually using a preset when actually when you go into the truck. So it actually gives you some of the options predefined in the store, like aero parts, it's giving you the option 3. That will be a uh, default with none. It's very, very rough, uh, very, very rough semi. But we go with the design number 3, only the ones on top, only the ones at bottom, and or both. Both uh, both designs, I'm going to go obviously with both. Now we go to a confusing one. We jump into front mounting, and if I ask you what do you think of front mounting is going to be, I think that nearly 90% of the people that is listening and watching this video is going to think that some kind of attacher, some kind of implement, it's going to appear in the front, and with that uh, with that thought in mind. I know that people is gonna think uh, a mount for snow plows, yeah, mount for silence blade, a three point, uh, three point attacher, or maybe just a simple trailer attacher just to move implement around. No, no. Frame mounting refers to actually the protections and things that you can put on the grill. So, for example, design number one, it adds these, um, these kind of protections to the lights. Design number two adds a bull bar with uh, with four massive lights. That kind of reminds me of one of the Scanians back in the day. Uh, but in here we have it in the Volvo. And design number three, it adds everything: the protection to the lights and also the bull bar with the four uh, with the four big round lights on the grill. So no, no attachers, no attachers. The next option is going to be the safety frame, and again, safety frame, we are talking about frame, we go to the back of the truck, and we say none, design one, design two, design three, and none. And that is actually also quite confusing, because it says safety frame, but it's not related to the frame, it's actually related to the sleeper that we have, uh, that we have selected. So in this case, safety frame. It, it's referred to a protection, to a frame that you can actually install on top of the sleeper. Design 1 adds this white frame. 
and it also includes two LED beacons. Design number two, same frame with same beacons but with four massive uh, lights. And design number three, it adds uh, a, my, a mount for trumpets. So it actually has nothing to do with safety, neither with frame. So, well, here is that. Uh, now, I wonder what happened if I change the XL to the regular one. All that disappears. And we cannot choose... We cannot choose the safety frame. Okay, so we go to XL. And we are able to choose this safety frame. Okay, design number three is the one that I'm going to choose. <coughs> now we're going down to mud flaps. In mud flaps, in this case, it works like it should. Mud flaps are mud flaps, and we can pre designing as Volvo, as none, or these uh, red and white stripes right there, which I kind of like it a lot. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna keep those ones. Moving back to the front of the truck, we have mirrors, and in mirrors we have design one. Design 2 and Design 3. What is changing is actually the side mirrors or the mirrors that help you look to the ground when you are when you are driving the truck. The mirrors that are set up on the sides to actually be able to see what's just in front of the truck and at the bottom and next to the wheels. So we have mirror none. We have Design 1 with front and side mirror. Design 2 with only the front. Design 3 with the side one and back to none. I'm going to go with everything because, you know, I don't know. I like it. We're moving down to colors, and again, and again, Giant is actually giving us four colors. We already got uh, usually the main color and the rim color, but in this case, we have paint color, grill color, and design color. If we get into design colors, we are gaining actually four Volvo colors. Now, I wonder if these Volvo colors are included in the game or are just part of the DLC, because it's kind of weird. But uh, I'm I'm not gonna go with the purple. I'm gonna go with the Volvo Red. Absolutely love the Volvo Red. It looks outstanding. And on the grill color, this time, Giants gave us the four Volvo colors. Just in case you wanna match, or you make make a Red Devil right there, or you wanna go chrome. I actually like it chrome. And it's not only changing the grill, but also changing the safety frame and the front uh, mounting, aka the bull bar color and the and the and the light mounting that we have on the sleeper. Okay, it changes that. So we go to ping, you're gonna see what changes right there. It's, these are the these two pieces changing. And I'm gonna go chrome. I like it. I like them chrome. <coughs> Next option is going to be the design color. And the design color is gonna be very discreet. We're gonna put it uh, we're gonna put it pink and you see that it only changes that central piece of the grill. I would have gone a little bit further with that one. Uh, probably everything that is black right now. You know, uh, the Volvo surroundings, um, the lights, the lights mounting, even the mud flaps, like the mud guards that we have in the front wheel. Uh, I don't know, these plastic, these plastic surroundings. Um, I would have gone a little bit further with, the, with this design color and I wouldn't keep it just as a tiny bitty part. That in the end cannot be chrome. So it's not gonna match anything on your truck, because you put it black. Uh, yeah, well, it's black. It's fine. You put it red. It's a red piece in the middle of nowhere, which doesn't look alright. So you are kind of forced to keep it black in order to make it look properly. So here we are, ready to check on the uh, on the Volvo FH16 750. This time we went uh, we went for the 750 setup and everything that it's included uh, it included with it and we set up on the store beautiful classic roundy lights like we were saying uh, the pieces of the grill that actually um, would be nice if we can actually match colors lights decals normals that we have around I mean outstanding all the decals the shapes of the cabin are absolutely absolutely beautiful you see right now that with this setup, this uh, with the 8x4 push, the front axle is actually a steering axle. So it's actually that's actually a very very nice detail right there. We see new uh, new new light at the back, new new back lights, all the wiring, it's there. Everything everything is there now. The only pieces that move actually are the drive shafts. We don't have dynamic uh, dynamic suspension and, and 
anything like that. Giants don't do it. Uh, and in the end, uh, well, a colorful engine. I wonder where I've seen that before. Um, um, yeah. So um, we're going to jump into it. We're going to drive it and we're going to see how it behaves. The options that gave us, the interior, the sound and everything. So let's jump into it and check it. Well, uh, here we are. We're driving a Volvo FH16 750 with all the options that we've set out in the store. Now we're going to fire it up, we're going to shut up a minute and listen to the new engine sound, because that's new. It's not very loud. It's a discreet sound, because it's a Euro truck. They, they are not allowed to make a lot of noise. Okay, I think the train is coming. Oh, I, oh, I thought I heard the train. Anyways. So, again, you can s you can hear in the sound something very typical in the in the European trucks, some airflow. You can hear the sound of the engine with airflow, because they they are they have the vents and stuff, and it's represented in I can hear it. Uh, I don't know if in the video you will be able to hear, but definitely when you are playing, bump it bump up the sound of the engines. And you will, uh, you will be with me on that one. That you can hear not only the engine, but some airflow. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Now back into where we were testing before with the lights. We, uh, the giants, we have a problem with the lights. We have a situation, guys. I've just paid a lot of money for these lights up here, and we go stage one, stage two, no stage two, stage one, and that's it. Um, the headlights are not working. They are only working on the... Like, the headlights are working. The high beams are not working. And we only have one light. Only this ones. These ones, they never work. And this tiny bitty pilot in there, they are also not working. We Those tiny ones, they work. But not nothing else. Where are all my lights? I want a roller coaster. Well, by the way, there is one there. But I want a roller coaster. And it's not. And there is no roller coasting in here. It's just, uh, by the way, uh, real lights. Absolutely beautiful. Right there. Look at that. That's uh, that's gorgeous. We go back lights. We got brake lights. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. When something is well done, it needs to be, it needs to be shown and acknowledged. These real lights are absolutely beautiful. Right there. Are the... Yeah, sorry. I thought that for a second that they, the brake lights were not working on that one, but they are. Okay, so let, let's drive it a bit and let's see how it feels. First thing that you notice, the takeoff is out... Oh, Jesus, there's a car coming. Sorry, man. I'm, uh... Sorry not to sorry. Da ah, dum dum hang on me, you shoot. So, um... Probably should deactivate traffic. Now... First thing that you notice is the takeoff. It takes off like nearly immediately. It also brakes quite good, but the takeoff it's outstanding. It's amazing. Now, something that I don't like it's the fact that it doesn't feel a truck. You don't feel the truck. Um, what do I mean when I say I don't feel the truck? Look, look at that. Push, 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 push. And if you are driving a little bit too fast and you take one of these, um, it jumps. So, for, and not even fast. You go like that, boom, boom. And you don't feel the suspension. So, we like really nice stuff but we cannot forget that we're driving it and and it's not looking I don't feel that I'm that it has suspension I have a feeling that it's a brick and I'm driving a brick and and nothing happens with the wheels it's it feels uh, unnatural. Now, all these can be fixed. All these can be addressed and can be improved. It's not a big deal. It will probably be improved. But for an example, let's concentrate on this one. And let's build a very, very small example. You see right there, I just hit that, that thing and just bounce it. 
Okay, if we go here, look at the rear tires. They're going slow. And they are flying. They don't acknowledge the ground. Right now, we have four wheels completely flying. Two axles. And nothing is happening. You don't see reactions. Now, you see that, for an example, this tag axle, that's, a, that's, a, that's not a, a power axle. It has no power. Neither the front axle. The front axle has no power. Front axle is just a steering axle, just like the one back there. Now, if the rear wheels are floating, like just right now, how, how am I driving? How is it possible that um, this is not 8x4? I think that this is actually an 8x8 or a 6x6. Because right now, if we elevate the rear wheels, we have traction. We can still drive. And we shouldn't be able to. Because this is an 8x4. And right now, we don't have any any wheel with traction touching the ground. So I think that this is actually set up as an 8x8. At least 6x6 on the... 8x6, sorry. Now let's see if, the, if actually the front wheels the front wheels have traction. How do you see that? Sorry, sorry for the extra for the master class right there. But it's important. You know, guys, that I do take uh, I, I do care a lot of that. Oh. Well, I was looking for a collision. That fence has no collisions. Okay. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna stop into here. You see that the front wheel is actually moving. The front wheel is actually tractioning. So all, all the wheels, all the wheels have power. Like if there was a drive shaft down to them. I'd say that's wrong. I'd say that's wrong. Uh, if it's an 8x4, it should be 8x4, not 8x8. Okay? Now, that's, that's being picky. You know, that's me being picky. Now, we're going to jump into the interior and we're going to check how it looks from the inside. And on the inside, well, again, it's it's absolutely it's absolutely outstanding. Uh, all the details that needs to be here that are here in real life are effectively here in the truck. This is a modern-looking truck. You see all the orange rivets and stuff. Now, these orange rivets would be actually nice to have a design three color to actually paint them. Uh, not asking for it, but it will be very, very nice if you have a red truck to actually have everything that is orange or painted red. That'll be that'll be terrific. Um, but other than that, it's absolutely beautiful. Well, let me zoom in. Let me first fight it up. Now we're gonna fight it up, fight it down. Let me zoom in and check all the details that we have, because we have a lot. Now with the zoom applied, you can pay attention to a lot, a lot of other details. Um, I have absolutely no clue about these like bird stuff in in this in this tray. Might have something to do with Volvo or with Globetrotter or I really don't know. But oh, uh, it's actually it's actually a nice detail that is there. Now steering wheel, all the rivets and everything you see uh, blacked out. All the dash indicators. It's a fully fully um, it's a fully digital dash. We're gonna fire it up. And you're gonna see everything, everything popping out. You can actually see the fuel consumption. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And right now, with the dash completely zoom in, you can see the fuel consumption right there. It's right now it's 11.2 liters uh, per hundred kilometers. If we accelerate a bit, that's gonna change. And if we we saw actually 130 liters per sec per per hundred per hundred kilometers. That's actually pretty nice. We see the speedometer not only in digital but also uh, moving. You see the RPMs. You see that it has it has the add blue, the add blue logo just right there. Fuel measure. Um, it's everything is there. Now we fire up the lights, and you can see that it's also 
illuminating there, not only illuminating the dash, the new pieces, but also the uh, also everything. Everything gets everything is getting everything is getting a light. Okay, it's I mean like I said, it's beautiful. Details all over. That's 3D. These uh, these FH16. Uh, it's 3D. You see all the rivets and everything. Um, I invite you to to go around and check some real pictures of this truck, and you're gonna be amazed that how how realistic and how accurate everything is on that one. It's absolutely it's absolutely beautiful. You you have gear the gear shifter. In this case, I don't see it moving. Now we're gonna crash for sure. I don't see it moving, but anyways, I believe this is one is automatic. Uh, I believe, is, is it automatic? No, it's uh, well, it has gears, but it has no no gear shifting with with um, with uh, clutch. We don't have the clutch in there. We only have gas and gas and brake. If we accelerate and we brake, brake works. We have the airbag logo right there. So let's back into regular zoom. And back into here, um, the driving thing. Okay, the driving thing that I was saying. Um, no, no, I'm not particularly happy about it. I'm not particularly happy about uh, the feeling of driving. Not, not. Any, that won't be fair. It's not the feeling of driving. It's actually. Oh, you see, the susp It's just the suspension. I just have the feeling that the suspension is wrong. Also, the traction, the, the the total traction, I I have the feeling that it's that it's not that it's not okay. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be like that. Other than that, we talk about beautiful and magnificent work on the FH16 in this uh, 750 variation with the 8x4 uh, push drive. It's absolutely, it's absolutely beautiful. But we have another one to actually review. The last one, we have parked right here, the VNX 300. Let's jump into it. Here in the store, we have the VNX 300, and the VNX 300 it starts also with some preset options. Now pay attention to this. Whenever we are here in the main store, it says Volvo VNX 300, 149,500 euros. If we jump in the store. We already have some options pretty fine. So for example, we have a wheel setup preset as a Trident short. And we have also mirrors set to yes, sun shield set to yes, horn, antenna, aero parts, and other than that, everything is standard. Now if we want to see like the stock uh, stock F uh, VNX 300, we should do all this. Now this is a stock VNX 300, and again, You've seen it already, we have a bunch of options. This time, we don't have engine setup. We only have one engine with 500 horsepower with a power shift transmission. We are always going to have 1,075 liters, 175,000 liters of fuel and up to 90 kilometers per hour base with 10 tones and the same uh, wheels for everything. We don't have wheel setup. Uh, sorry, we don't have wheel brands, so it's going to be always continental. And with these, uh, with these wheels and rings, we're going to start with one of the most exciting options, at least to me, the, t the wheel setup. And we have tandem short, we have tandem long, we have trident short, we have trident long. Again, back to trident, back to tandem short. I'm going to go, of course, with the trident long. Um, I like it long. And Alex, if you're listening, no, that's not what she said. You, you shoo. Um, and we're also going to move down to the second option. There's going to be the beacons. Two beacons. This time, we have LED beacons. Again, we don't have the option of left and right. We have the option of both beacons or no beacons. Back into the hood, we have the mirrors. And we have the mirrors, yes, mirrors, no. And this is actually the option that got me confused when I did the short saying that it was the VNL. These mirrors are very, 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 very alike. They very look alike the VNL mirrors. So that got me absolutely confused. And I said VNL and question mark, because nobody knew but uh, nobody knew that uh, by that time. And it was not the VNL, it was the VNX. Now, VNX 300. We are. We have options for the chassis and for the number of wheels. We don't have options for the sleeper. 
which is kind of disappointing in all honesty. I'd like to see sleeper options. Uh, there is a short one, a long one, a tall one, like kind of the same options that we have on the AmFam and stuff, but in here, well, it ain't happening. We are stuck with the VNX 300, so the 400, 600, and 700, I believe that it is also, are not included. So the next option is going to be the Sunshield. And again, yes or no. We don't have several options. We only have one, one option with the Sunshield or the Visor with some chicken lights in there, two at the sides and three at the front, two at three at the center, and be done with it. I'm going to go with the Visor because without it, it looks like naked. We go with the horn, and the horn again are the trumpets. So we go with two trumpets or no trumpets. Now, I wonder, I wonder if this horn option is actually, because I've seen it in two trucks already. So I wonder if it's actually changing the sound of the horn, or if there is a way with the new update to actually change sounds while customizing the truck. That would be terrific. Following option is going to be the antenna. In the antenna, well, it puts antennas on top of the mirrors, period. You like it, you put it. You don't like it, well, you don't put it. This actually don't bother me, so I'm going to leave them. And we're going to close it with the aero parts. The aero parts are going to be also no and yes. And it adds uh, wind deflectors at the side of the cabin. And it actually protects the protects the, like the cargo or whatever you put in there. It makes it a little bit more aerodynamic, of course, in the game. That doesn't matter. But it actually looks pretty, pretty nice. Going down the list, we have again the same best practice. We have main color, grill color, design color, and of course, ring color. In main color, we don't have, we have the Volvo colors, but this time they are not named Volvo. They are just standard red and green, but they are no Volvo. So it's kind of weird. Uh, the fact that it's not using the same pattern, it's kind of distracting or, or confusing. I don't know. So I'm going to go with, I don't know, uh, gray or maybe a beige. Yeah, beige looks good. Now, grill color is going to be uh, gray, black, or chrome. So I'm going to go black, you know, when you go black. And design color is going to be chrome, black, or plastic. I'm going to go plastic. And plastic changes the uh, windshield, mirrors, and also the bumper. So, well, this actually, this option already, uh, it already stands out. So chrome, gray, white, or black going to be your options for your rims. I'm gonna go black. It looks so everything down there looks looks blacked out and it kinda looks uh, kinda looks mean. Let's get one of those and check it in the ground. Well here we have it, the VNX, the Volvo VNX 300 with a setup that we choose uh, in the store. Like on the previous two models, in the previous two uh, in the previous two trucks we have one uh, down there and we have the other one uh, the other one just next to here. The truck looks absolutely outstanding everything it's where it's supposed to be everything looks Volvo everything looks looks perfect decals in there ultra low sulfur diesel fuel only in the game we only have one fuel so that we're saved right there and of course we have the rims we have I don't know the rear lights we don't have rear touch I don't know if that's actually allowed we only have uh, brake lights and uh, and that's it we don't have one oh, well, the reverse light but we don't have turning signals at the back which I believe is somehow mandatory, but anyway, it is in, in this case we don't have them. Um, again, decals and details on the frame, as you can imagine and as you would expect, everything is absolutely gorgeous, everything is absolutely outstanding. Okay? No complaint at all in that matter. The design, texturing, normalization of everything in, this, in these vehicles is outstanding it's outstanding there is not a single error there is not a single mistake so when they do 3d mesh this is 3d the grill front grill is 3d it's not a texture okay that's 3d but he this one on the sides that's the mesh the, sorry that's a texture that's flat it doesn't look like but it is flat and it's used on the right spot here we want it we want to see it we want that grill to be around and it is, it is, it is absolutely, it is absolutely outstanding. So we're going to jump in and we're going to test it. We're going to see if everything, if everything actually works fine as it should. And again, we're going to check on the axles, we're going to check on everything that we pay attention to. So let's fire it up and listen first to the sound. And here we go. I think I've heard this sound before and I don't know if that's the sound of a VNX because I've never been next to it but I can say that it's the sound of the MAN in the game let's 
and let's see if it's true or there is some some different. Let's get one MAN very fast. Fire up and see if there is a difference. So here we are, one uh, an MAN completely stuck, the one that I bought, and I'm gonna jump in and fire it up. Nope, it's completely different. So then, where have I heard that sound? Let's jump into the into the pinnacle. Let's see, let's see, because it sounds very familiar to me. It sounds very close, but it is not. It sounds very close, but it is not. It is not. So that's a def that's definitely a new sound. Okay, that's definitely a new uh, a new sound. It doesn't sound like the Max. It doesn't sound like the Man. It sounds close. In the end, it's a truck. It sounds close, but it's not the same. So we're good. We're good there. We're good there. Now we're gonna check on the lights, and the lights we have again the same problem. We have step one, and step one it is. There is someone at Giants forgetting to coat the rest of the lights. We have only headlights, but we don't have high beams, and the two lights and the bumpers are not working. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Just give me lights! Give me lights, please! Now, indicators, we don't have, uh, as like I said, we don't have rear indicators. We only have front, uh, front, in front turning signals. So, left and right, we have the left and right, but they're not actually, they're doing nothing at the back. And we're going to check again on the traction and stuff, and see if this is actually a tri-drive, or is again, like, like the FH-16, which is a full all-wheel drive uh, kind of truck. The feeling on this one is different. It feels heavier than the FX-16 and it actually wobbles a little bit more. That one, I like it better. How it drives, I like it better. But at the same time, I think, well, again, we don't have, we have nothing dynamic on the steering, on, on the rear axles. Everything is floating and nothing is adapting to the ground. That's the easy way of the, that's the easiest way to do it actually, and we see that the rear axle has no drive shaft, so there is no traction from the engine to the front uh, to the front tires. So we're gonna do the same. We're gonna do the same test. I'm gonna uh, grab something static. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna go ahead and pull against the these um this sign. I uh, touch it gently, and if we accelerate, you can see that the front wheels are also uh, are also spinning, and they absolutely they absolutely shoot. It, okay, so that's also, that's something that you know me. It kind of bothers me if it's not all-wheel drive. It's not all-wheel drive. You don't code all the differentials on all the tires. It's easier, but you you, sh you should you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. It's Triton. It's tri drive, so three axles. Now, let's jump, let's fire it up, fire it up, and from the outside, let's jump into the interior and let's see how it looks. Because this looks, I mean, again, it looks outstanding on the interior, the, the, the inside of it. It looks, it looks perfect. It looks like everything you, sh you should want to see inside. Again, it rivals with another game, so. Uh, fighting it up, logo Volvo. There, it switches to the digital st digital dash, speed and stuff. Everything is working and everything is looking flawlessly. Turning signals are working perfectly. Even it's moving uh, behind the steering wheel. That's a very 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 nice touch that I need to put into my trucks. We see also mirrors are working perfectly. Everything is looking. Everything is looking on spot. The only thing that, like I said, it bothers me a little bit is the fact that they say uh, try them, which should be these three axles. They say uh, eight by four, and still eight by eight, uh, like eight by eight. This one, uh, the small one, does the same. That's something that it has some uh, room for improvement. But at the same time, everything can improve, and it's not even released. So we. 
we expect to have uh, all these tiny bitty things, uh, all these tiny bitty things fix it. We're gonna jump into the one that we have sitting around. We're gonna fight it up, and we're gonna put them together. We're gonna align them, and we're gonna take one last picture. Cause with that, we are going to leave it here for today on this video. Now remember, there is more videos to come. Also, remember that I'm not at the office. I'm at. I mean, I'm in Spain at my parents' house, so I don't have all the time in the world. So, um, I mean, I'm enjoying my parents. It's, it's been a while without uh, without seeing them. So, uh, it also it also affects the amount of uh, videos and content that I can actually produce. So, just uh, be patient. Be patient. Stay tuned, because there is more to come. This thing has tons of machines. The DLC has tons of machines, tons of new mechanics. We started with these three beauties. Okay, we started with these three beauties, and with that, we're gonna leave it here for today. Having said that, guys, and as usual, be nice, play nice, and see you around in the channel. Bye!